how can we read QR code using OpenCV? Let's suppose that we want to create an app for our company that opens the door when we show the QR code. So we go to the door, we show this QR code, for example, and the door opens. We're going to see how to do at least the QR code detection or using OpenCV with Python. A QR code is just a code used to store information and read them quickly. You can put any information you want. For example, I, I've just created one and I put some text. Hi, it's Sergio. Uh, I forgot the text, but you, we will read it now with the reader. Let's go to some free online reader. And I'm going to show now the code. It's scanning and now we have the code. Hi, it's Sergio. This is my QR code. As simple as that. Let's uh, see really quickly how the QR codes are done. This is, uh, this is an image from Wikipedia where we have an example of the QR code. We have few patterns that each QR code must have. And these are the position. So one, two, three squares so that we can read the QR code even if it's rotated in any direction we can read it properly and also for similar purpose we have the alignment and timing and inside all the rest is used to store the informations let's install a module which is called PyZ bar for reading the QR code we go to settings project interpreter and then this plus for add and you just type pi z bar and then you install the package this is this is at least how i do that on windows let's now import all the modules and start with the detection we import cv2 we import numpy as np we import pi z bar dot pi z bar as pi z bar let's load an image an image with the QR code emg is equal to cv2 dot im read i have an image called pi source uh, qr code dot png and you can use your own image or you can download this one from the link in the description and then let's first show this image see to that im show image and then emg and cv2 dot weight key zero so to hold the image open we need to put weight key and i'm going to run the script and this is the qr code that we're going to analyze let's now create the QR code detector using PyZ bar. So we can do that just below the image. We say the code decoded objects equals PyZ bar dot decode. And we want to decode the image. Let's print what we get coded object and let's see let's run this script this an array that contains all the objects found so in this case we had only one QR code if we had more we will find more of them we have the data contained in that QR code in this case I just put my website the type this is QR code because this library can read QR codes, but also barcodes. The rectangle, so the position where the QR code is positioned. Let's split this data and let's get only what we need. We just need basically to get the data. So we can do it this way. We use a for loop. We iterate through the objects. So for opt in decoded objects, we can print the data and then obj.obj.data and we can see 
the data is just the website and it, and it is what we need. How can we do this in a live video? Let's remove everything except the libraries. We first import the camera. Cab is equal cv2.video capture zero zero for the first webcam. If you have more webcams, you can use different index. We run the while loop while true underscore frame is equal to cap dot read. So we're reading the frame from frames from the camera. And now we show the frame cv 2im show frame and then frame a key event key is equal to cv 2wait key one if the key is equals to 27 then we break the loop and 27 is the s key on the keyboard so when we press 27 we break it means we're stopping the script let's just do some tests if everything is correct we should see the video on the camera and everything is correct let's now do the detection we need to detect after the frame As we did before for the image, we can type the coded object is equals to pi z bar dot decode, and then in this case we decode the frame. And as we did before for obj in decoded objects, we just need to print the data and then obj.data and I take the QR code from the phone and let's see and we can see the result it's the same QR code I used before hide Sergio this is my QR code you can see that we have many of them because when we work with the frames, each time there is a new frame, we are printing the extraction of the QR code. Let's do something more fancy. Let's keep it on the screen when we see it. Let's comment this one. We don't need that anymore. Instead, see to dot put text. We want to put the text on the frame the text will be string and then obj.data then the position of the text right here okay let's say 50 from the top uh, 50 from the left and 50 from the top font face let's put font and then we'll define the font font scale let's say three color let's put it blue blue so bgr it means 255 of blue zero of red and zero uh, sorry zero of green and zero of red i almost have no space anymore here so let's go on a new line this way and the thickness let's make it three we define the font here out of the loop font is equals to cv2 dot font hair shape plane you can choose any font you want we run the script okay the text is too long we cannot see any uh, all of it we can either create a bigger window with the frame or shrink the test the test the text as uh, I'm in a lazy mood and I want to keep the video short, I will just shrink the test, the text, not the test. And this is the result. We can see the result of the QR code right here. So it will work this way. You want you will put the device in front of the door of your office. The employee will come, show the QR code. Instead of the text, there will be some password. And OpenCV, the Python script, will send the input to the door to open. That's all.